reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. To hell with this place. nothing. <clears throat> In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. You are goddess, but thank you. Over here.
divine arrow. There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Sounds like good company to keep. It has its own reward. Damn it. I'm home. Welcome to the House of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad, though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. Some of us more than others. gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Greetings, Father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for asking. So I'll just be on my way again. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never reach the surface. Go, see for yourself. You have come home. Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. We made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. I believe it, Nyx. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Then go. Hey, room. I'm back. Night and darkness 
best guide me. The power of darkness. Can't sleep. The bedchambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray, despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, is it? Who needs sleep? Okay. I can escape through that pink window there. Empty for now. There we go. Koranacht, the heart seeker. Let's deal some death. Psst, over here. What the? Whoa! Wow. Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. If you insist. Pretty good. I can do this. I'll figure something out. Ready. Thunder. Is that... Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. He'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. Lord Uncle Zeus lending his support. Never thought I'd see the day, or night, whenever.
on a key. up to do, but first things first, you get yourself out of that dour underworld. As for me, I'll see if I can stir things up a bit to cover your advance. Looks like I caught a big one. The power of the sea should be a help. They got me. No way to patch up. Got to keep going. Can't escape. louds just killed you dead that time those mean old slappy guys maybe try killing them beforehand i don't know right someone's at the desk next to the throne you've returned the house of hades that dark and lavishly appointed layer of the underworld's king is home not just to him but to his willful progeny you know I can hear you, old man. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances. Remember your training out there. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. Don't think I'm welcome in there. Stay out of there. Who's that sniveling shade to your immediate left there, father? Already found someone new to do the busy work. And here I thought I was utterly indispensable. That shade, boy, is my newly designated contractor. One whose responsibility is to work on this house. Though who shall pay for everything my subjects here demand, I do not know. You're trying to guilt me into funding the exorbitant furnishings you desire. Perhaps once we are finished with repairs for all the carnage you have sown throughout my realm, then we might finally have time for all the needed renovations that have piled up. Nice. Some sort of special offer for me, my good shade. Darkness guides you, child. You have outgrown this house. Of that I am now certain. Should you return again here, I shall keep you safe. I won't forget you, Nix, I swear it. sleep when I'm dead. Skelly. Back, huh? That looks like a Daedalus hammer. Enchantments for my weapon. Did 
Atlas, wherever you may be right now. Thank you. my crusty elder brother lately, good? Big Hades, he is disagreeable with all of us, not just with you. So don't you take it personal and stick with me. The ocean's fury. Ah, oh, what I wouldn't give for, say, a healing flask of some sort. of these upon Olympus.
I've never gone this far. skeletons. Ah, I'm up, I'm up. Whoa, you just got killed by one of those bloodless inferno bomber skeleton type guys. Nice. I always wondered what would happen if you just kind of stood around while all their bombs went off. Okay. <laughs> Why I can scarce believe my eyes. Is that you, boy? Cerberus, look who it is. He's back. <laughs> Cerberus looks mournfully toward the prince. No need to drag the dog into this, father. Anything you say to me, you say in front of Cerberus. You might even learn a thing or two from him of listening and of obedience. You'll get the hang of it out there, lad. For all our sparring practice, there's no teacher like the real thing. Now then, I have something for you. What, wait, you're giving me your codex? I can't accept something like this. Please, I insist. I want your love of history to grow, not just your love of warfare. Besides, maybe you can finish out the rest of it. I'm grateful. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. Nix isn't around. Pretty quick, you know, boyo. Just be sure to use that dash like mad instead of step. I'll have to come back later. No turning back. That sound. That was revelry? People having a good time? Well, sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I'll accept this message. Hey there, Zag man. How's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime.
leave it to the God of Wine to liven things up around here. Now let's be reasonable, no? hidden talents. Razor sharp. Let's see what's in here. Poor me. Good to see you, Charon, mate. Just minding my own business, taking in the sights, and hey, what's that you got? Some sort of wares for sale? And I'll just have a look around. The infernal wares of the Stygian boatman, Charon, lie sprawled about. Available for sale, do whomever would be willing to quench the boatman's great thirst for riches. That would be me.
get him. I'm trapped. Stones. It's got me. <laughs> hey, you keep dying. You happen to run into my brother anywhere out there by any... Something about a war. Father sent Thanatos to take stock, but you're right. It's been a while now that you mention it. I guess a lot's occurred then. I'll say. The lounge reopened. And... Let's see. What else? Anyway, you see my brother out there? You tell him we've got everything here under control. Everything under control. Mm. Sure. I see you've decided to come home. Changed your mind yet? Or looking for more pain and suffering? More pain and suffering for sure. After all, you taught me to appreciate the finer things. You keep telling yourself that, boy. But mark you my words. Sooner or later, this life that you have chosen for yourself shall teach you I was right. Good talk. Good talk. Prince, say, I was wondering, Achilles, any news of Orpheus of late? I've not seen him around here in some time. He's still paying his dues? That I believe he is, lad. Your father, he was none too pleased with him last time I saw him here. I tried my best to simmer down the situation, but you know how it goes. I hope your father cuts his sentence short. I hope so, too. If you do see him, tell him I said hi. Went. What once was a small lounging area within the House of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi-headed Cerberus tore the space apart, mourning the missing prince. Cerberus destroyed the lounge again. Nix 
wide awake. Open up. Baratha, the eternal spear. Join my pursuit. Hey, nice. You throw those blood? I'll just aim generally for the midsection since the eyes are a lot. Again. I have to tell you something, little Hades. My relatives and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours, so call me if you need anything, especially to smash your enemies to bits. Oh, what's this? The Wrath of Poseidon at my beck and call. I'm empty. Witches. back at home. It must be a mess. Let's see here. Hi there. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Why, hello, hello there, little godling. I have to say, you're quite the specimen, and so I've decided I shall aid you for the moment. You interested? Interested? And the power to break hearts? Sure, I don't see why not. I'm as healthy as can be, but cheers.
I can use this to unlock a weapon. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. Fine day to you as well there, mate. Now let's have a look at your supply. I've come. In such a reassuring sight, I thought I'd offer you a token of my gratitude. Wait, you don't have to give me something in return. It was a gift. Though, you're insisting, aren't you? I don't know what to say, mate. present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying dangers far beyond the Underworld Prince's reckoning. And I can reckon quite a bit. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. 
a man after my own heart. Cheers for that, Meg. Ah, oh, um, oh, wow, so Megara herself got you last time. That must have been intense. She's fast and strong and beautiful. And, um, anyway, I hope the fates are nicer to you next time. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> Achilles. Is it really true that Cerberus ripped the lounge up right after I left? You must have gotten in a lot of trouble. I only wish you could have seen it, lad. The place looked like a vineyard after a typhoon. Your Lord Father was livid. But he never gets so angry with the dog. Poor Dusa, though, she's... Oh, no. I wonder what became of Dusa. She's always worried Father's going to fire her, even without something like this. Goes at Shane's. He's back already, Cerberus. Just as I indicated. I'm standing right here, Father. I'm sorry he disturbed your rest again, Cerberus. You've done a good job. The realm is well defended still to the high standard that you set. You have returned. May you discover what you seek, my child. Bye, Nix. Hey, the lounge is open. No time to rest. Greetings, Broker. wanted to say the lounge looks wonderful as good as new better i hope it's not been too much trouble patching up i i i i i have to clean the rafters i thanks for all your hard work greetings chef A commemorative board adorns one of the stoic walls within the lounging area, celebrating and proclaiming the accomplishments of those who serve Lord Hades best of all. Won't ever see my face up on that wall, I guess. Hey, room. battle. This 
this one was bound to show up, I guess. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. The will to fight. Stand down or suffer. Let me show you. The dead better hide. shows respect to anyone, not even me. But I'll enhance her blessing nonetheless. Thank you. 
one's going to want all this. I can do this. Here, a wretched lout slapped you to death. You know, I haven't. Shades of the dead mill constantly with it. I listen. <sighs> you never learn. The sealed weapons by your chambers. Your father won't observe their absence, I don't think. They remind him of a time he stood together with his brothers and sisters. He wants nothing more to do with any of that. I think it's fitting you've inherited their power. A power that once sealed away the Titans. Maybe it's a power that can break me out of here. Thank you for helping me, Achilles. Welcome home, boy. You're late for dinner. Breakfast or whatever blasted meals next. That's all right, Father. I'm not feeling very hungry at the moment. I've asked repeatedly for the construction of a sundial, but every time they tell me no, can you believe it? Your impertinence with me inspires all. What's that there? Something from the fates? There you are. You have met most of your Olympian relatives by now, child. Although the power of their blessings is fleeting here, they shall continue to support you as long as necessary. They all still think I'm headed to join them on Olympus. That's why they're helping me. They are helping you because you are family. Family with whom they do not yet have a complicated past. It's getting complicated pretty fast. It's only ever Thanatos or Meg up there. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. What's up for barter? I want to go lie down. Night, protect me. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the Prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his Lord Father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. 
so Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone that she's my mother? But, but father always said that Nyx was m that liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Line up. Who is next? What happened next? as I'll ever be. Family. Death is your only family. Death and I. Best get accustomed to the both of us. No, not on your life. This mark, almost like a bat wing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You. Good. Hermes, at your service. Pleasure. You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be. Appreciate the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now let's go. I'll fix that for you. Composed of such innumerable, ever-shifting, interlocking chambers, the underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Good thing I'm not dead.
the side. <laughs> that one day you shall settle your dispute. Kill or be killed. Now, I had to ask. Tombstone, just great. in deepest Tartarus, where they fuse together with the earth itself into odious forms which defy description. They basically turn into big crystals. Clear for now. Claiming these. of calm and respite, whilst perhaps unimaginable in the underworld, occasionally is to be found, in fact. And not a moment too soon.
Now what? Numbskulls. like it, mate. Thank you for helping me out. Hi, Meg. Ever stubborn, aren't you? Your whip's not been all that pers- Maybe persistence will pay off a- treating you. Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. You. Have you yet satisfied your foolish urges? Perhaps a lashing from the Fury's whips would set you straight. I had it out with them already, thanks. Such nonsense. First you defy me openly, and now you lie. On my next meeting with the Furies, we'll have a word about all this, you rest assured. Wish I could be there to see your face. shifting chambers of the underworld ought to be a little livelier with this. Of all the things you think that takes priority. You are returned. Nix, sometimes I get the impression the Olympians look down on those of us born of the underworld. Is that my imagination, or what do you make of it? The gods of Mount Olympus tend to think themselves above us, child. Or so your father often likes to say. He alone was relegated to this realm and grew resentful of his relatives on high. I can't imagine him otherwise. 